Well, I guess uh, it's a great day. Uh, it's the first of uh, two charter flights that are coming. We've got roughly 500 odd guests coming in from, from Shanghai. Uh, it's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Right? You know, they, they look like they're raring to go to have their holiday. Uh, and again, it's, it, it goes with, our, with the ideas that the government has regarding the growth, growth areas and tourism with respect to China and India. And uh, this is fantastic. It really is. 250 odd today and another 250 in, a, in I think it's a week's time. So we, I keep saying it over and over again. It's about the, 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 it's not really about the million people that we bring in. It's about the quality of people that we bring in that spend. And we've got an industry that brings in 1.3 billion dollars. It goes with the government's idea that we want to increase it to about 2 billion by 2020. So all of these, uh, these, the start of these charter flights goes great distance towards uh, helping achieve it. And it's a great initiative from uh, from Rosie, with the help of Fiji Airways, first charter flight out of Shanghai. Fantastic, really good. It's the only thing to increase our uh, the, the actual spend in Fiji, and from what I understand, is a, they're rearing to spend their money. You know, this is a massive growth area for us. Uh, it's not just China; it's China and also India. We, as you know very well, we've come back from the so tourism, tourism in Fiji is actually focused on those growth areas at the moment, and this is a great add-on. So we are, we're working on a few things at the moment. We've just come back from there. Uh, the, the response was absolutely positive and wonderful. Uh, we have a couple of issues with connectivity, but this may be one of the ways to even get the, get them here. Uh, but that's something to figure out. I mean, you know, the private sector might be interested in doing that. Companies were there with us. Rosie was part of the tour, the, the, the group that went across to India. So you never know. You know, when you think about this plane literally left uh, 24 hours ago, uh, traveling about 8,000 kilometers um, and bringing uh, over 260 people back to Fiji, uh, I think it's an amazing testament of, of uh, how hard our tourism industry works to uh, actually bring visitors in. And so today it's a full flight, as you can see, uh, an immensely uh, uh, historic and a very proud moment for Fiji tourism and uh, in aviation. Uh, and uh, so we're, we're really proud to actually have our, our wonderful national carrier with its iconic uh, type of design, literally in one of the busiest airports in the world, uh, and being able to just uh, capture uh, over 260 people that are here, uh, that you can see are very excited, just love being in Fiji. Uh, it's been a long flight for these folks, uh, it's been about 10 hours, but uh, talking to them, uh, they are just absolutely excited to be here and just want to be able to enjoy uh, their resorts, the Fijian people, uh, visit uh, the beaches, the culture, and, and and uh, really immerse themselves in uh, a wonderful seven-night package here in Fiji. But, but this is, uh, we've been able to literally put a study into, into, into practice uh, today. And as you can see, a 100% a, a full flight. Um, and the people are very excited. And so it's been a, a, a very successful test case for our national carrier. And uh, we, we remain very, very excited for uh, the, uh, the opportunities in, in China. It's, it's the largest outbound market in the world, over 100 million people. Um, and today was a, was a successful test case um, and uh, next year we actually want to explore not only flying to Shanghai but, a, but, a, but another city uh, with a goal to uh, generate uh, 1,200 passengers uh, in, uh, again for, for next year, which is all as well for, for Fiji, for our tourism industry, our economy, our foreign exchange earnings, more jobs uh, and of course the tourism dollar circulating to more and more people in our community. I think, um, all markets are, are, are interesting and uh, we, we have our traditional markets uh, of Australia, New Zealand and North America at about 80% of our visit arrivals. But I think these new emerging markets are, are, are of interest. China is obviously a very interesting market. India is another, another interesting market. Um, so uh, I think there's, there's endless opportunities, uh, not only for, for Fiji, but for our national carrier uh, and of course our tourism industry. It, it is a very, very special uh, moment, uh, not just for us, but uh, for all of Fiji, uh, to see uh, the first ever flight coming from mainland China, uh, because it heralds uh, a new era uh, for our tourism industry, uh, in that we are now going after a, a, a new market, a new, a new region, and it, it, it means uh, for us being able to contribute more revenue into our, uh, our, our, our economy and also jobs, which is what we, we need. And so. So from that perspective, we, we are really, really excited and honored to be able to 
bring this to fruition. Uh, and it, it, is a, it is a dream that, uh, that has been realized and, and uh, certainly is something that for us, uh, we are very excited about the, uh, the potential to come uh, because we have some, some very big designs uh, with respect to uh, uh, future charters uh, uh, with, with this now uh, uh, getting off the ground. We are talking to our partners and, uh, of course, uh, Fiji Airways to, uh, to look at the, uh, the possibility. Uh, again, it all depends on making sure that all the ingredients are, are all in place. Uh, what, what really has uh, been very helpful is, is, is the first charter. As, as you know, when, when you attempt something new, the, the first attempt is always the most difficult. But then you learn from that, and, and that's basically what's happened tonight, is we've really learned a lot from this exercise, and it's really prepared us uh, for, 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 for the next round of charters. We have a, the next charter coming in, in a week's time, um, and that is already, uh, uh, already sold out, and that's given us a lot of uh, hope and optimism uh, for, for the next few charters. The great thing about it is, is everyone now in the civil aviation of China and uh, up there in, in, in Maine in China uh, have seen Fiji arrive uh, at the airport there in, in Pudong, and, and so there's now familiarity with, with our destination uh, so for us, uh, it, it's, it's a matter of uh, sitting down with uh, all the stakeholders to really chart uh, the, the, uh, the future for, for uh, our charter programs. Um, well, I, I think, uh, I, I guess from our perspective, this, this is, this is a, a historic occasion for, for Fiji uh, to be able to uh, uh, realize uh, this, 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 this plan of, of, of charters from China. And, and uh, that for us is really, really important, that, that the whole industry uh, supports uh, uh, this, this initiative and, and gets behind uh, preparing themselves uh, for the new type of customer that's going to come. Uh, the Shanghai needs customer is, 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 is very different to uh, other parts of China. There's, there's more expectations. So we're working very closely with uh, the hotel partners to really make sure that the, uh, the service levels uh, are, are tailored and that they, there's a, a sense of uh, welcoming. Uh, that, that, uh, that they need to, to uh, prepare for as well. So that's something that, that is happening right now and, and uh, you know, we, we're working with them very closely on that. So it's, uh, the first 260 passengers that, that came off tonight, uh, basically uh, for us are going to be the ambassadors. Uh, and, and every aspect of the itinerary has been carefully crafted to ensure that, that the experience over the next seven days uh, will be the promotional vehicle uh, uh, that we can rely on because as you know uh, we don't have uh, a lot of funds to, to, to work with as opposed to other destinations so so all these these, these uh, passengers that have arrived tonight will become our ambassadors to uh, to go out there and spread the word and and, and really uh, talk about Fiji but it all comes down to how well we we deliver on the service on the ground with all our hotel partners the service operators and that's something that uh, I can tell you there's been a lot of work that's gone into that and, and we're really excited that they're here now. And so uh, you know, we're looking forward to the next uh, few days uh, to really showcase uh, why Fiji is so special, why Fiji is so unique and why Fiji is so different eh, to the rest of the world. And, and uh, for us, that, that is uh, what we live for. And so, cheers. <laughs>